Reconnaissance aircraft, like the argue for Global Hawk, collect far more imagery than can ever be fully exploited by the Air Force's legion of analysts, with fewer than 10% of imagers collected ever fully reviewed. So when Air Force tactical exploitation of national capabilities approached us with this problem, we thought that imagery analysts mostly looked for needles in haystacks, that we just needed to figure out what those needles were. Our plan was to do so by interviewing as many of them as possible, and then we would help by developing computer vision algorithms that would automatically identify objects and anomalies from their imagery. After talking with dozens of analysts across the Air Force, Army, and NGA, we found that their work wasn't as straightforward as we first thought. When we asked, what are you looking for and how can we help? We never heard the same answer twice. Everyone seemed to be looking for different things across different types of imagery. Furthermore, both data and targets were often classified, and tasks that we thought would be clear-cut always ended up being more complex. For a while, we were a bit lost and overwhelmed. Then came our breakthrough, the Antonov An-2 biplane. The AN-2 was designed by the Soviet Union in 1947 as a utility aircraft. We were surprised to learn that North Korea has over 300 of these ancient biplanes and that they're a critical part of their plans to invade South Korea. The AN-2's ability to operate in short spaces and drop paratroopers makes them a significant concern for U.S. military leadership. By talking to imagery analysts in the Air Force and think tanks, we learned that these aircraft could be recognized in unclassified commercial satellite imagery. We hypothesized that we could create our own unclassified tool to monitor these strategically relevant biplanes using the daily collections from commercial satellites, independent from the DoD's classified networks and avoiding many integration challenges. We presented an MVP of our proposed solution to analysts and requirements managers at the Air Combat Command, which is the primary provider of combat forces and imagery analysts within the Air Force. We received approval to continue our work in partnership with them and L3 Harris. Our next steps are to complete a demo and provide a prototype for testing against real-world data. Future iterations of our solution will be able to detect fighter aircraft and surface air missile systems. Use of our tool will allow analysts to more quickly conduct order battle analysis and generate indications and warnings from potential adversaries.